<laughs> All right, hey folks, welcome to Maverick Gunworks. Today we have something brand new on the market. Our first look at the new Springfield Armory um, Hellcat 9mm uh, subcompact or compact, I reckon it is, um, designed for concealed carry handgun. All right. We've uh, been trying to get one of these. This is our first first opportunity we have to have one in the shop. Hey, check that out. Uh, the envelope uh, from Springfield. And in our envelope, we have a owner's manual, operation safety manual. Gives you more de details about the gun itself. Our Springfield armory sticker. And another... Is this looks like a pamphlet that describes some of the accessories and your warranty card that you should always fill out when you get the uh, brand new gun. All right. So that's in your in your package. Ready? And let's take a look at what else. We'll go ahead and there's a target. We'll look at that target in a minute. I want to get to the gun. Okay. We have our zippered nice little pouch for carrying case. Springfield provides with the gun. And here we have the firearm itself in a plastic bag. All right. And this is a corrosion preventive preventive bag there. And alrighty. Our first look at the Springfield 9mm Hellcat that is uh, so anticipated by several customers. We have a lot of folks calling asking about when we're going to have these available. When can we get one? When can we get one? Well, we've got just the first one today. So I'm going to do a quick run through of, of our impression of it. We see our empty magazine, which by the way, this is a standard magazine that comes with it. It is 11 rounds. See that? Plus you have one in the chamber and we'll confirm we just pulled a safety flag out. So confirm that the chamber is empty. All right. Let's close the slide. Uh, that's uh, that's typical with a new gun. A little bit stiff, but not uh, not too much of a challenge to, to release the slide. All right. <clears throat> I like the texturing on it. It's uh, sufficient, I think, for a nine millimeter. It feels pretty good. And we have a little bit of a. So we have some some form of finger grooves in the front of the grip here. That's, that's uh, kind, of, kind of nice. I, I like the way the trigger guard actually comes up. I see that, uh, I didn't notice this before. I haven't read about it so much, but trigger guard is raised up a little bit right here. Gives your hand a little bit higher a grip on the frame, which also helps with uh, controlling the recoil. I like that, I like that fact. Cause actually that's a, that is um, a modification I would normally do for somebody that was using a competition gun will be something like this to help uh, get your hand higher up on the frame. And that's built into the factory, in front of the factory that way. I like that idea. All right. Um, looks to be that our magazine release appears to be ambidextrous. It's shaped the same on both sides. So, and looking from the inside, I can tell the way the spring is designed, you'll be able to change your magazine release to either side. So that's ambidextrous. All righty. And <laughs> hey, I tell you what, I like these sights, man. That that's that is cool. At your front sight to start with is a tritium night sight, glow in the dark kind of thing. A very bright yellow halo on the front, and a nice horseshoe shape on the back. Let's see if we can see that. If I get the camera just or angle just right here, very substantial white arch under the bottom horseshoe shape and if I catch it just right and keep, granted I'm here I'm here with the camera by myself so hopefully you can see that the halo on the front uh, is very bright you have a very good contrast looks to me like and yes it's going to be very easy to get a sight picture with this to be able to see the front sight in line with your back sight I like that that's uh again that's impressive honestly I like that Granted, I am a little bit, I want to say biased, but I, I am a fan of a Springfield. Um, I have an XD that I've carried for years and years, and, and it's never been a problem as far as reliability. It's been a great gun for me. So I expect uh, Springfield has done the research, and, and uh, we'll find out in the near future 
that uh, this gun is going to be as reliable as the Springfield I've been so uh, accustomed to. All right. Now that being the case, I you know, like that. The slide serrations are uh, sufficient, have a good grip to them. So you'll be able to pull the slide back. So like that. Right. As far as trigger pull, let's see what that feels like. All right, we've got, as with any carry gun, you want to have a, a little bit of free travel. But that, yeah, that's a, that's a good feel for the trigger. I would say it sits around uh, four and a half, five pounds or so, probably five pounds. Reset is fairly short. Um, let's see if I can show you, maybe on the camera here, I can see the trigger is pulled now. Now we'll let it go back to reset. Just that far. So that's a, that's a I think a very um, close, quick reset for a gun that is uh, meant to be a concealed carry piece. Yep, I like that. That's, that's impressive so far. So we have 11 plus one round magazine here. Let's take a look at the box to see what else we have here. All right, and here is our our proof target from the factory at uh, a distance of 10 meters. So that gives you an idea of the accuracy of it, 10 meters away. And I would think that that is a, a very respectable uh, grouping for a handgun of this size with such a short barrel. Definitely will be plenty sufficient for a self-defense situation. Alrighty. We've already looked at our our uh, envelope here that has the instruction manual and warranty card in it. Let's take a look at further in the box. This, this box has accessories written on the bottom down here. So we'll open up this little pouch for the accessories. And here we have as with any handgun should be, trigger lock, some sort of locking device. We have a base plate that could replace your finger extension if you wanted to, make it flat magazine. And here we have the uh, extra magazine. And this one is a 13 round magazine. Okay, so that will give you a little bit more uh, handhold capacity or length, I guess I should say. And yeah, personally, I like the extended magazine myself, and all that's going to be to his personal preference, naturally. But for my size of hand, right off, I would prefer to have the extended magazine. I have almost a full hand rather than my pinky hanging down. My bottom finger does have a little bit of a grip on the bottom of the magazine, so that's a good thing. At the same time, you're going to lose a little bit of... of um, being able to conceal it as, as easily because the extended magazine gives you more length on the grip. But I don't think it's an issue. This is a very thin, very slender size frame to have, especially to have a, a 13 round capacity. Very cool. I like that. All right. So, all right. With that, pretty much covers our first impression, at least, of this handgun. Um, the only other thing I know of is the, I don't right offhand, there is a detent that comes up into this little pocket right there on top of the slide that will indicate if there's a cartridge loaded in the chamber. All right, so I know that for a fact. And then the other version, which has the, the optics ready version, in the top of your slide you would have a cutout from the factory with a plate, adapter plate, that gives you the option on mounting a uh, micro-sized red dot optic. So with that, hopefully we'll have something sometime soon that we can go out and test fire this rascal and, and give you a, a different different impression or maybe a more in-depth impression of it how, it, how it shoots. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see what the, what the distributors can do for us as far as acquiring another one. But for now, that's our first look at a Springfield Hellcat 9mm subcompact handgun. All right, thank y'all for watching.